Good morning, first graders. Happy Tuesday. Mr. Christian, back to read you today's Read Aloud. And in today's Read Aloud, we're going to be reading Layla. Now, the author of this book is Galia Bernstein and actually does not have an illustrator. So I think both the author and the illustrator for this book is Galia Bernstein. So I hope you have a comfortable place to sit. You have both ears open. You have your eyes focused on the screen. And let's get started with today's read aloud. Layla. Layla has a mother and a father. And nine aunts and 23 cousins. That's too many. Well, Layla has a huge family. They always want to hug and kiss her. Yuck. Mwah. They always want to groom her. She's not even dirty. Scratch, 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 pick, pick, pick. They are always busy. Always fussy. Always noisy. She's trying to take a nap. So Layla ran away. She ran until she couldn't see them anymore. She ran and ran until she couldn't smell them anymore. She ran and ran and ran until she couldn't hear them anymore. It was so quiet. Nothing around but Layla. And some sharp rocks. Ouch! And a lizard. Eep! I'm Layla. What's your name? The lizard didn't answer. I hurt my foot. Do you want to kiss it better? The lizard opened one eye. Shh! He said, I'm busy. You're not doing anything, said Layla. I'm very busy doing nothing. How do you do nothing? Well, said the lizard. To do nothing, you sit perfectly still. Feel the sun on your skin. Listen to the leaves rustling in the wind and the insects buzzing in the air and think of nothing at all. Now, close your eyes. Ooh, what do you think Layla's doing here, first graders? Have you done something similar to what Layla has done? I'm pretty sure you've practiced it in a classroom with someone, maybe with Coach Davin, all right? What does it look like that Layla's practicing? Layla's practicing mindfulness. And the lizard is teaching her about mindfulness. Let's see what happens after she takes that moment to be calm and to be mindful. When Layla opened her eyes, the lizard was in the same spot, but the sun was on the other side of the sky. She suddenly missed her family. It was time to go home. Can I come back and do nothing with you again? She asked. You can, said the lizard as he closed his eyes. I'm always around.
Layla turned around and ran. She ran until she couldn't she and she ran until she could hear them again. She ran and ran until she could smell them again. She ran and ran and ran until she could see them again. There they were, her family. She told him about her adventure. I ran and ran. It was so hot. The grass was this tall. She told him she met a lizard. He was this big. <laughs> Let's look at that. Was the lizard actually that big? That what Layla is telling her family? She's the lizard wasn't that big. He was super teeny tiny, maybe like the size of Layla's foot. She's exaggerating. She's silly. They thought she was very brave and wanted to know if she was all right. Then she remembered. I hurt my foot. You want to kiss it better? They all wanted to kiss it better. Oh, she's upside down. <laughs> this is Layla right here. She's upside down and they're all kissing her foot to make sure that her owie feels better. That night, in her mother's arms, Layla didn't mind the noise. She remembered the sun and the breeze, the leaves and the insects, and the lizard's voice telling her to close her eyes and think of nothing at all. But from then on, whenever it all got a bit too much, she went to see the lizard. And the lizard was always there. Ooh, and that is the end of today's read aloud. I hope you enjoyed, scholars. So remember this book showed us that Layla practiced mindfulness even though things were a little bit loud where, where she was at with her family. Maybe you can also try to practice mindfulness as well at your homes whenever you have a break during the day from your schoolwork. All right, I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's read aloud. Enjoy the rest of your day.